You know, they say you never get a second chance to make a first impression. I say bullshit. And as evidence, I present my brother, Scott Cluis. Scott is a, is a medical malpractice and catastrophic injury attorney in Chicago. Now, feel free to take a minute and conjure up your image. If you're thinking, looks like a 55-year-old Tom Cruise has a condo in the Loop, an office overlooking the lake, and drives a black BMW, you would be spot on. It would also cover barely the tip of the iceberg. See, I met Scott in August of 1983. He was one of my roommates freshman year in college. I grew up in central Illinois. They called it Dog Patch USA. Scott grew up six blocks away from Wrigley Field. His dad was an alderman and a state senator. My dad worked construction. S summertime, Scott worked in the Cook County Courthouse. I worked in a farrowing house. I called him Congressman. He called me the Hick. Now, if ever there was a self-made man, it would be Scott Cluis. His CV would weigh like a hardbound edition of Moby Dick. He put himself through undergrad, working as a residence assistant. Grad school, he ran student housing at Western Illinois University. He was a clerk of the Juvenile Circuit Court of the City of Chicago with 250 employees and a multi-million dollar budget while he finished law school in four years. When he got out of law school, he shined his shoes, pressed his suit, and walked into the three most preeminent law firms in the city of Chicago and announced that he was there to work and produce and learn. In five years, they offered him a partnership. Eventually, his independence and his ego got the best of him, and he walked away and started Cluis and Associates. Under his own shingle, Scott treated his clients as if they were family. They treated him like a brother or a son. But after 25 years, he explained to me, he said, Hick, the law is the ultimate adversarial profession. Every day going to work is like going to war. Your job is to prove other people wrong. Now, Forget about the multi-million dollar lawsuits and the three thousand dollar suits. At the root of all, at the root of it all, what defines Scott Cluis is his heart. He once befriended the locker room attendant at his, at his health club and showed him there was life beyond the projects that he grew up in. To this day, he takes food to the guard shack and has dinner with the parking lot attendant at the first law firm that he ever worked at. Scott wanted to help people. You see, the University of Pennsylvania has a world-renowned program called Positive Psychology. It is all about the science of resilience and communication and optimizing everything that is right about people. And believe me, it's no Disneyland degree. Scott said it was the most difficult thing he has ever done in school. His intention was to develop programs in medical school and hospitals to teach doctors how to communicate more efficiently and more completely and more compassionately. Therefore, establishing better relationships with the nurses and the patients in the administration, creating a better patient experience, better care, mitigating against burnout, and oh yeah, here it comes, preventing malpractice and requiring fewer medical malpractice attorneys. That's how he wanted to make a living. How he wanted to make a life was he wanted to help kids. You see, Scott barely graduated from eighth grade. He was destined for the remedial classes in high school. He expected his parents would be furious. Instead, they called a family meeting and said, how can we help? Tailwinded by a family that unconditionally supported him, Scott learned eight grades in the summer of 1979 and he graduated from high school with honors. Realizing that there's a whole lot of kids out there who don't have that kind of support, like Desmond, he wanted to be able to help kids. Mentor. So, Scott and I have now been together for 37 years. We talk five days a week. He was with me when I got married. When my dad had a stroke, he drove five and a, he drove two and a half hours to sit by his side, hold his hands, and tell stories. 
And when we took both my parents to the grave, Scott was on the other side of the casket. So they say you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Well, first impressions are human nature. But if you meet yourself a Scott Cluis, Dave Nelson, Nestor Gomez, I beg you to give them a second chance. You may miss out on a brother or a whole lot of inspiration.